Hello Internet, Minus here. Today's episode is going to enlist to any surprising facts that sound ridiculous but they are absolutely true. Some of them really blew my mind as I was searching for the best on the internet, so I would like to share them with you. If a piece of typical printing paper were folded in half 42 times, it would reach to the moon. As crazy as it sounds, a sheet of paper could do that. A normal A4 printing sheet is 0.081mm thick. Nothing fancy, but if you fold it in half, the thickness doubles up to 0.162mm. If you fold it 8 times, the thickness will be just over 1cm. In reality, we cannot fold it more than 11 times, as the Mythbusters claim, but theoretically, if you fold it 16 times, it will be as tall as the tallest human ever lived. I know this is not even close to the moon, but keep folding. The exponential increase of its thickness will reach the ISS after 33 folds in half, and finally after 42 folds you will have made a paper bridge all the way to the moon. Keep folding in half until you reach 157 times and your sheet of paper will be as wide as the entire observable universe. You can fit all the planets in the solar system between the Earth and the moon. Speaking of the moon, I recently ran on Reddit to read that and made my own calculations to see if this is actually true. I pulled the numbers from NASA's solar system fact sheets and it turns out that they not only fit in between the Earth and the moon, but we have also 4,392 kilometers to spare. Pretty amazing. But before we continue, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Ring the bell as well to get notified and be the first to watch the newest How and Why episode. You can also ask your questions about science, history and computers, and we will make a fresh new episode about it. Africa is 14 times larger than Greenland. On a typical map, you will find Greenland here and Africa here. The thing is that Greenland seems only a bit smaller compared to Africa, but this is because of the Mercator projection. Beware because Earth is round, and to make a map of a spherical 3D object in 2D, you need to skew it, to project it. So areas between 0 and 10 degrees north or south from the equator suffer very little deformation from 3D to 2D, but areas between 70 and 80 degrees deform a lot and become too large. The closer you go to the poles, the more stretched the map becomes. You can see that at thetruesides.com, where you can search a country or a territory's name and slide it across the 2D map in Mercator projection. You can see that as we drag Greenland closer to the equator, it gets smaller at its real size compared to Africa. President John Tyler's grandson is still alive. How is this possible? To most of us going two generations back, we won't even find relatives who lived by the Second World War. But here's the thing. John Tyler was born in 1790 and became the 10th President of the United States of America in 1841. He had eight children with his first wife, who died while he was still in office. At 52, he married 22-year-old Julia Gardiner. They had seven additional children together for a total of 15, the most of any president. He was 63 years old when his son Leon Tyler was born. Leon also had a very young second wife and was 75 years old when Harrison Tyler was born in 1928. He is now 92 years old, while his grandfather was born 230 years earlier. Pretty astonishing. If you travel south of Detroit, you will end up in Canada. Detroit is located in Michigan, nearby the border with Canada. But there is a small piece of Ontario province which goes south and a bit east of Detroit, making you able to go south of the USA and here over to Canada, even if all of Canada is north than the USA otherwise. The Earth is less than 1% water. I know, I know, this sounds ridiculous. But if it didn't, it wouldn't have been featured on this video. The Earth is also known as the Blue Marble after that image from Apollo 17 in 1972. 71% of the surface of the planet is covered in water, but in terms of volume, this is where things get different. Earth's mass is 5.9722 times 10 to the 24th power kilograms. In comparable measurements, the Earth is roughly 1 trillion cubic kilometers, while water is 1.386 billion cubic kilometers. This map shows the Earth without water, and this blue sphere represents the total water in and on the planet. This smaller blue sphere represents the fresh water and the tiny third, the water from lakes and rivers. Getting an 18-inch pizza is more than two 12-inch pizzas. 
If you're splitting pizza with friends, you'll technically get more bang for your buck by splitting one 18-inch pizza instead of ordering two 12-inch pizzas. It sounds counterintuitive, but here's the math for that. The surface area of a disk is pi times radius squared. Here it is 9 inches squared times pi equals 254.34 square inches, while a 6-inch radius pizza is equal to 113.04 times 2 equals 226.08 square inches. This is 11% less. So next time, think before we buy two smaller pizzas. Oh, and the 17-inch pizza is 0.35% more as well. New York is more south than Rome. I myself didn't believe that. Funny enough, Rome's Colosseum is at 41.89 degrees north, and New York's Central Park is at 40.78. This is equal to 1.5 kilometers or 1 nautical mile more to the north. Pretty much the same. Ish. There was no orange in the Renaissance. I mean, of course there was orange colors in paintings and orange fruits as well. But the fruit orange wasn't named after the color. Funny enough, the color took its name from the tree and the Sanskrit word for the orange tree. Before the late 15th century, orange was considered a shade of red. Until the Renaissance, yellow red was the only term for orange in English. The name for the color came later. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the term orange started to be used in English to describe cloth and clothing in the 16th century. This also coincided with Portuguese sailors bringing a sweeter, tastier orange from China to Europe, called Appelsin. Mount Everest is not the tallest mountain. For sure, Mount Everest reaches the highest altitude. But considering it the tallest, no, this is not true. A mountain's height is measured from its base, its feet, like we do. Mauna Kea, located in Hawaii, peaks at an elevation of 4,207 meters from the sea surface. But the most of its mountain is hidden underwater. Base height of Mauna Kea is 10,211 meters, while base height of Mount Everest is 1,361 meters lower. It's like claiming that I am taller than LeBron James only because I stand on a chair. This doesn't make me taller. Sorry, Everest. Sahara is not the largest desert. Surprisingly, Antarctica is the largest desert. Why? <laughs> Most experts agree that a desert is an area of land that receives no more than 25 centimeters of precipitation annually. So that means that a desert is not only covered in sand, it can be covered in ice. Sahara at 9.2 million square kilometers is the largest sand desert, but Antarctica with a massive area of 14.2 million square kilometers makes it the largest desert on the planet. Even if the entirety of its surface is dry water, ice, there is no liquid water. Golden mammoths and the ancient Egyptians coexisted. Well, not in the same place, but the last holy mammoths died in Alaska 4,000 years ago. At that time in Egypt, the pyramids were being built. Hard to imagine these things took place at the same time. Cleopatra is as ancient to us as the Pyramid of Giza was to her. Speaking of pyramids, history sometimes has a funny way of compressing in our minds the further back in time we think about. It's easy to think about Egyptian historical events all occurring near each other, but in fact, the reign of Cleopatra was closer in time to the moon landing in 1969 than to the building of the pyramids. They were built between 2580 and 2560 before current era, while Cleopatra died over 2500 years after that and 2000 years before the moon landing. Jousting is the official sport of Maryland. Maryland became the first state to adopt an official sport in 1962, but it was a bit old even then. While most of the nation was playing baseball or football, Maryland made jousting their official state sport. Jousting first became popular in Maryland in early colonial times, but got even more popular after the Civil War. Christmas truce Humanity is at war since its appearance. But for the first time in 1914, a war started with worldwide extent. Even the bloodiest war, however, had its unique moment during the week leading up to the 25th of December when French, German and British soldiers crossed trenches to exchange greetings. 
In some areas, men from both sides ventured into no man's land on Christmas Eve to exchange food and souvenirs. There were joint burial ceremonies and prisoner swaps, while several meetings ended up in carol singing. Men played games of football with one another, creating one of the most memorable images of World War I. Poisoned by the state In time of peace, though, evil crawls and sometimes lives within laws. The US government killed hundreds of Americans during Prohibition when, in an effort to decrease the production of illegal alcoholic drinks, they added deadly poisons to industrial alcohols, knowing that many people used them to make illegal hooch. Even though the Surgeon General tried to warn the public, it wasn't enough and hundreds of people still died not knowing they were essential drinking poison. You cannot do these things together. Multitasking is hard. While sitting on a chair, lift your right foot off the floor and make clockwise circles. Then, while doing that, draw the number 6 with your right hand or left hand. The direction of your foot will change. That is because you first pay attention on making clockwise circles, but then your hand needs to make a counterclockwise circle. Your brain changes attention on sending the opposite signal, eventually making your foot change direction. Of course, you can manage to move them independently, but I found it tricky to adapt. USA is only 3.8 kilometers away from Russia. Initial thoughts? Bullcrap. USA is over here and Russia is over there, 6.6 thousand kilometers east. But further to the east, we find Alaska. And between these two big land masses in the Bering Strait, there are the Diomedes Islands, one is US soil and the other is Russian. These two small islands are only 3.8 kilometers away. And yes, they are inhabited, Though, when the sun rises, it's Monday at the Russian island, while it's Sunday at the US island. The deadliest job in the USA is… the US president. Funny enough, well, not so funny, but the deadliest job in the US is the president himself. Out of 46 presidents, 8 have died in office, of which 4 were assassinated. Even if you count only 4 out of 46, it is 8.69% fatality still the deadliest. The second deadliest job is that of the lodging workers at 0.98%. In the average classroom, it is more likely that two kids have birthdays on the same day. In probability theory, the birthday paradox concerns the probability that, in a set of n randomly chosen people, where n is the number of people, some pair of them will have the same birthday. When this number reaches 367, there is a 100% possibility, as there are only 365 or 366 days in a year. So, mathematically speaking, it is 50% possible for two students to have the same birthday in a classroom of 23 children. Which of those facts left you speechless? Let us know down in the comments. Thank you for sticking throughout the video, and as always, thanks for watching.